hello student in this video we will discuss about the salt okay because already we have discussed about the acid and the base yes so uh, in this video first one first topic is what family of salt so family of salt or what there are number of the family but i have mentioned only three sulfate carbonate and chloride but except these these are the uh, acid okay if you find the sulfate in again with the any kind of the metal so it means what that is the sulfate salt if you are finding carbonate uh, with the any kind of metal it means what that is a carbonate salt similarly uh, if you are finding chloride with the any kind of metal that is a uh, chloride salt like any cl yes uh, for carbonate like sodium carbonate for sulfate salt like ammonium sulfate so these are the uh, example and these are exception of the uh, sulfate formula these are the acid i have told you earlier then student we will talk about the ph of the salt so on the basis of the ph there are the three types of the acid uh, salt sorry uh, that first one is a neutral second one is acidic third one is a basic so first one is a neutral we'll discuss here so how we can uh, uh, differentiate neutral salt from the acidic and the basic so whenever strong acid and strong base react to each other so from the salt that salt is the uh, neutral salt you can see here h2so4 is a strong acid and naoh is the strong base so whenever these two react to each other so form salt this salt is a neutral salt and similarly here weak acid and weak base both react to each other so form the salt that salt is also neutral salt and the water here uh, example of the weak uh, acid is um, uh, acidic acid and the weak base uh, that, that is uh, ammonium hydroxide so what will happen this hydrogen and oh react to each other and form the water then remaining part of the uh, these acid and base form the salt that is salt is ammonium acetate yes then a st student we will talk about the acidic salt so acidic salt is uh, regarding to the acid strong acid whenever strong acid react to uh, weak base so salt will form that salt is the acidic salt like here example of a strong acid is hcl and the weak base example i have written ammonium hydroxide so what will happen water water would form yes from the the uh, from these acid and base and remaining part of the acid and base form the acidic salt so why it is acidic because strong acid neutralize completely this base and after neutralizing this base the uh, strength of acidic remain in the solution so that's why this salt is uh, acidic salt then student will discuss here basic salt so it is a vice versa okay when we will take a strong base with the uh, weak acid so it will form salt that salt is the basic salt yes so here example you can see on the screen uh, example of the strong base is naoh and weak acid is uh, acetic acid so it will form a salt that is a um, uh, sodium acetate and water yes so how it it will form so this sodium will combine with this uh, this part of the acid yes acetate so it will form sodium acetate then student we will talk about the chemicals from the salt so student you know very well uh, the common salt is anacl but whenever the impurity is present in a common salt so because of that we will find a color so that color is a reddish brown and that salt is known as rock salt yes so impure salt common salt is known as rock salt then student or here we, we are going to discuss about the process of al chlor alkali process or electrolysis of uh, aqueous solution of nacl the aqueous solution of NaCl 
NaCl here is known as brine solution okay so when we start to uh, electrolytic uh, process with the aqueous solution of NaCl so what will happen this is the one of the container okay and one electrode is the anode another electrode is cathode and will attach this electrode by the uh, battery and start the circuit so what will happen this electrode will contain the positive charge and it will uh, have it will have the negative charge so what will happen as we start the electric current so the these all the water and the NaCl break down into their charges Na plus Cl negative OH negative and hydrogen plus so what will happen this hydrogen ion will uh, will go near to this uh, cathode and any uh, cl negative ion will go near to this uh, electrode that is a anode so what will happen at this uh, electrode so for example for your understanding i am taking two electrode uh, two chloride ion so two chloride ion uh, combine to each other and form the chlorine gas and uh, two electron so these two ions having two extra charges so these extra charges will release by this chloride ion and form the chlorine and two electron will release yes so remember eight anode always oxidation thus takes place so for for your uh, memories and for the hint you can understand n ox so n means anode and ox means oxidation so at anode always oxidation does takes place yes then we'll discuss here uh, about the cathode so what will happen about the cathode so here hydrogen ion is uh, are present two hydrogen ion i have taken uh, for your um, understanding and two electron that will uh, take from this electrode yes from this electrode it will take so it will form hydrogen gas so what is happening at cathode c a t cat cathode and r e d rad so rad means reduction and cat means cathode so at cathode always reduction takes place so for your memory you can uh, learn these two words so it will be easy to understand because in chapter number first we already discussed uh, whenever the oxidation takes place so electron get removed and whenever the reduction takes place electron get gained okay then i uh, will uh, will here discuss about the uses so hydrogen used as a fuel in the rocket and the formation of hcl hydrogen is required formation of fertilizer hydrogen is also required then student uh, will discuss here the uses of this uh, chlorine gas so chlorine gas used for the chlorofluorocarbon formation of the chlorofluorocarbon formation of polyvinyl chloride disinfectant of the water and the formation of the pesticides these are the uses of the chlorine then the NaOH so how NaOH will form by this process so remaining part of this Na plus and OH negative so both these combine to each other and settle down near to this cathode so in this process the chlorine is also forming with the uh, formation of the NaOH that is a alkali that's why this process is also known as chlor alkali process alkali means NaOH chlor means chlorine yes student then uh, in the last we'll discuss about the uh, the uses of the NaOH so for formation of the uh, paper and the formation of the soap and detergent it is required and degreasing of the metal removing of the oil and all so the NaOH is required so this is all about the process of chlor alkali process thank you